Hi there, welcome to Number One Geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid Black Summer. We've uh, found what looks like the West Point expansion, which is a mod, and it has added a certain amount of extra area for us, and it's meant that we are, have been able to rest and also rearm, which uh, I don't think was the intention. I mean, personally, I think it would have probably been, been a little bit worse had I had to uh, walk all the way up here. And what's that up there? Some more construction stuff. Having said that, though, I am now kind of in the West Point area. I'm wondering now if I should be better off going for a wander in the forest, so to speak. Keep my character away from the West Point expansion and try to hit the road when it turns the eastern direction further up here. And hopefully I won't bump into too many in the way of zombies. Because of my super skill at avoiding them. head that way and then let's head that way and hopefully I won't bump into any of the uh, bitey people major problem with West Point is it is really surrounded by uh, trees The problem is with trees is that there's usually loads of zombies in there, but I think we're doing okay for the moment. I managed to avoid them using my character's better sneak skill, and I'm kind of hoping that uh, it's only improving as we go along. So I'm heading east, but also kind of trying to head north at the same time. Just so that I can end up hitting the uh, <clears throat> the road for West Point that's heading towards the east. It's the road I need to head into to uh, get to Valley Station. I'm not going to get past the point that I am going to have to kind of skim West Point. which isn't the best in the world, but we'll just see how we go from there. Obviously, with the uh, West Point expansion, I can see zombies over towards the north there. Still head towards northeast. I'll just put a bit of a run on there. I'm cold. Okay. And the cold's starting to go. I'll worry about the hunger when I've either found the road or found a landmark that I can stay at.
<clears throat> of course, this all has its risks, but I think the risks are worth it, really. I think when it comes to Black Summer, you're probably safer in the forest sometimes than you are actually going through the... Uh, Going through the towns. It means I'll be able to cut a heck of a lot of time off because I've literally just crossed sections and avoided it. Which is what I was going to do with um, South Muldrow if South Muldrow hadn't actually been in the wrong place that it was intended to be. So let's start going uh, directly northeast now. I'll just keep my eye out for zombies on the screen. And they flicker in and out of view. Actually, this is north, isn't it? Is that the road? I think I found the road. Good. The only downside to finding the road is that you're going to get more zombies. Yep, here they are. Only real issue right now is runners. And anyone sneaking up behind me, by the way. This is the point where I'm going to have to fight. One's still chasing me. Come on, you. Welcome to West Point. <clears throat> oh, run up. Yeah. 
Did one of those have actually a perhaps a handful? <laughs> Down you go. Well, we seem to have cleared those down quite quickly, haven't we? Oh. Phew. Right. We'll grab some food after this zombie, hopefully. As long as no more uh, find their way towards us. to spot me, spot me. You'd think one of them would have a katana or something stuck in him by now, wouldn't you? Next lot. As long as my weapon lasts, I can I can last really. You know, as soon as I said that, you kind of knew what was going to happen, didn't you? All right, time for frying pan noise. that frying pan sunshine. I don't know how long this frying pan's gonna last for though. Has he spotted me?
God's gift of frying pans. Right, drop the wrench. Might hand, end up having to use. Oh, let's eat the raspberry shortbread. Oh, run up. I hate runners. Especially so they're now pathing rather quick, weirdly as well. stuff. Right, I think what I'll do is whilst I'm fighting these guys is I'll say uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button. And if you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. As it comes for clicking, all I want to say is just uh, takes a quick click for you, but it's massive for my channel and uh, the YouTube algorithm that uh, takes a lot of your input to uh, let others know I'm someone that needs to be watched. But I don't want to coerce you if you don't generally don't want to. Uh, You generally don't want to uh, flip. So uh, that's about it for me, guys. So I want to say thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.